that have been displaced, that have been hurt by the crime of this bank. 130,000. No, no, he's talking about a speaker. I'm a homeowner advocate. And I run across daily, I run across so many people, so many families that are asking for help. We are here to encourage our Attorney General of California to do the there. right thing oh, and make everybody to write pay. letters about it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, the we believe that it's time yeah, we were at our for the American LA people to start standing up and, and start supporting this group that continues to fight for justice for all Americans. Uh, she's someone that reached out to many agencies asking for help. She has served the community as a chaplain. She has served bringing comfort to those people that are afflicted in pain and sick and dying. Yet she was abused by a financial institution and was recently thrown out at gunpoint out of her home of over 30 years. This my brothers and sisters, must end. It must stop. Bertha Herrera. Yes! 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 On the 5th of January, I was actually notified three days before to move out of a 32-year-old home. And it, it, that has to be called illegal. How can you move a home of 32 years in three days. Oh, right. You cannot find another place to stay. You don't have the funds to move. You don't, you, you're absolutely thrown out on the street. Yeah. I have two dogs. And I have a family, but you know how it is. So you can't yeah, just show up now. at their front so desk. And I've been literally on, not on the street by, by, by the mercy of God. I've had friends that have taken me in. But this is absolutely inhumane. The way they conduct business, my house was taken from under me. I was never, I never went through the legal process. I never went to court. I was not allowed to answer any of the, of the legal uh, detainers, whatever they call it. I was never served. I was never left a document on the doorstep, nothing. Absolutely no legal procedures whatsoever. Wow. One bank tells the other and tells the other, we try to get information today. No one knows anything. No one wants to give us any information. And prior to that, I was, I was made to be late. I was given a, a loan modification, which was a total scheme. I was in May, I was given a loan modification and told that I did not have to make the following three payments. I have paid one, nearly $100,000 in three years of this, with this loan company, interest only. Oh, no. I owe them one payment in the arrears and only because they told me that I was not supposed to pay the following three payments. Oh, in 30 God. days, thir a, a week later, I, I went yeah. to, to the store and found out they had taken away from my bank account without me knowing uh, $1,770. Oh. Wow. When I asked them, they said that was good, good faith money, which I was never told that that would be uh, that that would be taken out of my account. So I already I'm in the rears. I have no money, and I'm notified that I'm 30 days late. When I called them back to to make the statement that the lady of whom I have a name and the extension number, uh, saying that she has. She had told me that I didn't have to pay, make these three payments. They denied it. They never, uh, they, they, they never uh, uh, gave me any credit. So now I'm 30 days late, and shortly after they picked up my insurance company, which I already paid. Now they have me later with two more thousand dollars plus the one month late. Then they picked up my taxes, which I was making payments on. So they made me, uh, uh, my, my account higher and higher. By the time I wanted to get caught up and said, I want to become current, they said, we won't take your money. You're way too behind. It's either all or nothing. And they wouldn't accept my payment. Fraud. So wow. that's absolute wow. fraud. Do me a day and do them all. Woo! Thank you. Shoot yes, off. Thank you for your support here.